this is nice big site. Very flat, obviously. Lots of space. We're not on the water at this site, but the water is just over there. Boat launches down there and uh, also a beach. We're gonna go check that out later. Seven Points Campground is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer campground. It has 60 sites, all of which have electrical and water hookups. The electrical hookups have 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp. All the sites come equipped with a fire pit, a barbecue, and I guess it's a thing for hanging a lantern. I don't know, never used it. I've actually got the uh, clothesline attached to it. There's uh, two comfort stations. One is just bathroom, and uh, the other one is bathroom and uh, showers and laundry, but the laundry's out of service. There's one beach area with a playground, and there is a boat launch area. Looks like the, the uh, road through here and the parking lots have been completely redone very recently because they're in great shape. This park in general is in really good shape. So pretty much across from our site, so you can see our site right back there, we have washroom facilities, uh, no showers at this actual building, just five sites down that way. Uh, there are showers and laundry facilities. So we'll check out the bathroom here. It's already paid, cancel your mail for a while, it's a journey. Dump site here. It has uh, a sewage spot on each side and a hose that's threaded. So if you get a black water flush, you're all set. Right over there is your portable water if you need it. All the electrical sites have water hookups, so you don't really need that. If you're into water sports, this campground is awesome. There are many waterfront sites. You can park your canoe, kayak, paddleboard right at your site. Plus, there's a boat launch with a lot of parking. You can have your sea dues, power boats, sailboats, whatever. J. Percy Priest Lake is a nice sized lake. It's small enough that you can do your canoeing and kayaking in, but also big enough to do your power boating, uh, water skiing, tubing, and that sort of stuff. Centennial Park in downtown Nashville. This is an exact replica of the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. It was brought here in 1896 and constructed for an exhibition. And uh, it was left here. Uh, what happened to all the exhibition pieces is unknown, but uh, the Parthenon has stayed and it's the main focus of Centennial Park. Here at the Grand Old Opry. We're going to be checking out tonight's show. Looking forward to it. Should be amazing. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you 
gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. Florida Georgia Lion House, Johnny Cash's Kitchen and Saloon, Kid Rock's Big Honky Tonk, Luke Bryant's 32 Bridge, Blake Shelton's Old Red, Whiskey Bent Saloon, Crazy Town, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, Dirk's Bentley's Whiskey Road, Bailey Sports Grill, Stage on Broadway, Taylor's Honky Tonk, The Second Fiddle, Famous Tootsie's Pork and Lounge. Rippy's Honky Tonk, the Nashville Crossroads, Honky Tonk Central, Helen Jackson's Good Time Bar. Wearing my worn out jeans, what could go wrong? Sipping on a beer, sing along to our favorite songs. All I want is you, you make my world spin round and round. Sometimes I don't know what to do, cause my heart starts racing when I'm with you. you. Well, this is where we spent the last night of our trip. We're in the uh, Cracker Barrel lot in Piqua, Ohio. Uh, I think we're a little outside of Dayton. The uh, spot is not very level, uh, front to back and sideways. So I had to put out some blocks and uh, jack it up a little bit, but we got it to work. So Seven Points Campground is exactly what we wanted it for. It was a base of operations to tour Nashville. Now we went by a couple of the other campgrounds like KOA and Two Rivers Campground. They're right on the interstate, well right off the interstate and you're packed in there and it's like two or three or four times the cost of where we were. Seven points, it's $22 a night, electric and water hookup. Um, if I would have known how nice it was, I would have brought the kayaks and the stand up paddle board. Uh, like I said, if you have power boat or sea do or something like that it's ideal for that sort of thing what do you think i liked that it was spacious enough there was trees you were on top of each other they were nice flat um, sites um, there was one rest station just with uh, flush toilets and then there was another one with showers um, there was a nice small beach with a playground what was there, 60 sites at this one, I think? Yeah, something like that. A little bit All of them electrical. All of them electrical, but one. Electric and water. Yeah. And there was a dump station. Yeah, the dump station had a hose that was threaded, so that made it very nice to do a real good clean for the black water. And this uh, campground was about half hour from downtown, from downtown Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. So it was a good drive. Pretty close to everything. Yeah. It, there's not any hiking trails or anything like that but to be fair we really didn't look for that sort of stuff in the area we there might have been in the area we just but that's needed not a place to stay to for the night a nice campground yep it was close enough to downtown uh, but it was out in the country and it was very nice uh, benefit of this campground over uh, Anderson Road campground is you get the sunsets here so you can get some beautiful sunsets right from the beach um, Anderson wrote, you get the sun rises. So it depends if you're a night owl or a morning person. I'm more of a night owl. I'm not up to see the sunrise. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I definitely give this... Two thumbs up. Yep. If you are going to be going down to Nashville and you're bringing your travel trailer... That would be your first choice. That's right. It's the place to go. Don't get jammed in those RV parks. Go to this big, beautiful, open, spacious park and very inexpensive. Great job, Army Corps of Engineers.